what's up? We got a box here that we're gonna check out. This is a Crate Club box. This is the captain level. There's different levels at Crate Club. This is the captain one. I ordered this, I think it was the end of May or early June. Uh, sometimes they have like monthly themed type of th types of things. I got this one pretty quick. Um, probably on the inside it might even say, you know, this is the June box or the May box, whatever it is. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna kinda, kinda check it out. I have done a Crate Club box before and it had some pretty cool stuff. In fact, I believe this knife that we're gonna use to open it, I think was from a Crate Club box. So let's dive into it and let's see what's inside of this Crate Club Captain box here. All right, so we got the packaging that usually comes with it. It gives you some examples about stuff. This is the Crate Club Captain. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Okay, so this gives me an explanation about everything, so we'll kind of check into that for items that we're not too clear on. So, there's something larger box right away. Let's get into that. Oh, actually kind of heavy. A gun rest. Okay, you got like this pillow gun rest here. Let's see. How this kind of looks. Don't know how useful I will use this for. Maybe, I don't know. Most of the time when I'm going shooting, uh, I have an indoor gun club that I go to. So I have an indoor range. So this would not be very useful. I mean, I guess you could, but. Oh geez, this thing box is kind of heavy. Good grief. All right, so it's got like this little rest. That's kind of cool. How's this supposed to, supposed to work? So I think this is this, and this, and maybe like this. All right, kind of neat. Kind of has a weird smell to it, though. You know what? <laughs> this reminds me. Of what it smells like it smells like my like my dad. He uh, smokes a lot of cigars. It smells like tobacco. It smells like cigar tobacco. I don't know if it's most supposed to smell like that. It totally smells like cigar tobacco. Got some sweet shades, a little dusty, huh? Got some walkers. Okay, I got some uh, some Ear Pro that are made by walkers. So, some sweet shades. Uh, too bad I wear glasses, so this is not gonna do me a whole lot of good unless I want to be one of those weirdos to do this. How do I look? Would you, would you judge me? If I was walking around like this. Is this cool? Is this all right? All right. Cool glasses, too bad I can't actually enjoy them. They're polarized. This is chaos, I'll probably have to take over these things. Ah, uh, what do we got? This is no batteries to ever replace, okay. A bright thinking, what is this? This is a Journey 300, 300 lineman hybrid solar flashlight and charger. I know back in the day we used to laugh about the possibility of a solar flashlight because how would you charge it? But you can charge a flashlight during the day to use at night. And I believe that's what this is for. You charge it during the day, bam, you got yourself a flashlight. It's got a USB connector. What kind of USB we got? Oh, that old school one. I figured this is called. It's not USB C. USB C would have been very convenient. Manufacturers should have made it with USB C, but it's not. It's uh, that micro USB or whatever they call it. I figure what they call this this type of one. It's got a little, there, it's got a charge too. Oh man, it gets even brighter. Okay, got a little solar panel right there on the top. Set this out, this, you know, this would be good. You'd be, you set this side of your vehicle somewhere, leave it somewhere so that it just always charges. And then if you're out during the night or whatever and something happens, boom, good to go. So I think for that kind of purpose, a solar flashlight would be good. So maybe this will, maybe this will reside in my vehicle somewhere. That's cool. I like that. Uh, where's the where's the charger at? It looks like like they make it look like from the box. Like you can also use it for charging your phone. Yeah. Recharge with any light source or micro USB for rapid charging. 50 hours of light on one full charge. Then they have it like okay. So you're you charging it with your phone? So yeah, you can use it as a charger, I guess too. So this unscrews right here in the bottom. That has the USB port. Okay, it's got a USB and then the micro one. Okay, so it's got the USB port 
plus the one for charging. So you have the one for charging, which is a small micro USB, and you have a USB port, like a regular USB port, that you could use to like charge your cell phone and use some of the energy from it as a battery bank. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of nifty then. I'm gonna have to keep this in my vehicle. It's kind of cool. I like the idea. One possible useful thing out of this box so far, and that's the, the flashlight. Like I said, the, the gun rests, it's okay, it's coolish. Uh, I don't know if that's something I'll ever use. The sunglasses I can't use. What else do we got? Wookstore.com. Made in Italy and USA. Like at the same time, the box looks a little beat up, man. What happened here? Okay. Looks like we got a little, little cleaning kit, but the only thing it really comes with is a brush and some, just like CLP. This is for like a knife. All-in-one tactical gear cleaner. Removes stubborn stains from any part of your survival outdoor gear, ideal for wood and metal surfaces. So it's like a cleaning cloth. It just maybe leaked a little bit because it feels a little damp. Some of it has already leaked out of the package a little bit because I can, it's got a little bit of a, it kind of, it mostly smells like water. It doesn't really have a really like chemical smell to it, but the little label here is a little bit wet and damp. So you got a little interesting little wooden brush to brush your teeth with. Now for cleaning the weapon with, a little cloth to polish with, and then some kind of stuff. 80 years and counting of outdoor gear experience. What, what is this stuff though? It's got some cleaning stuff. I mean, I mean, I'll probably possibly use it for cleaning something. I don't know, who knows? And then last thing is here is a wet electronics rescue pouch. Do they not know that most electronics nowadays are water resistant anyways? Because is that what this is for? Life happens, be ready with absorbents. How it works. Turn off wet device immediately. Wipe down device with all possible components. Place device and battery inside absorbent pouch. Wait six hours while absorbance works its magic. Turn on device. I mean, can't you just use rice? So this is, this is just absorbs water, but guess what? I mean, like I have Samsung S23 Ultra. I mean, other people have iPhones and they're water resistant. So you drop them in the water and you'd probably be fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, horrible. Uh, I'll say this box wasn't very great. Um, the most useful item is this flashlight, but I would not say the value of what I paid for this box is not worth a flashlight. Um, there's a lot of items in here that me personally don't really care for. You may have a different opinion and maybe you do like a lot more of items. That's why some of these boxes, you know, are not for everyone. Sometimes they are a great fit for some people and for some people it's just a waste of money. It's a mystery box that sometimes is just fun for the adventure Sometimes you just get a bunch of not so useful stuff. This was this Crate Club box that I got basically for a solar, solar flashlight. So solar flashlight would be the main useful thing of all this stuff inside of here for me. For you, maybe different. What do you think down below? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below how much of this stuff would be useful to you. Right? I may be really picky about this stuff. Maybe you would love to have some cleaning stuff. You love the shades, you would love the gun rest, you would love the, the pouch because you've got an old iPhone that is not waterproof, I don't know. Um, let me know in the comment section though what you think of this box and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video nonetheless, make sure to leave a thumbs up even if you hated the box, the thumbs up. Love the box, hate the box thumbs up the video in the first place, all right? Make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, I'm Christopher Chaos. See you next time, see ya. Ooh, subscribe to the channel.